Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a donut chart that shows percentage complete. So this is an example of a donut chart, right? And when we change our percentage here, let's say we have 34%, it changes here. And so the indicator in the middle says 34% and the slices of the donut chart kind of show you that it's 34% complete and the slices here in this darker shade of green show the 34% complete and the lighter shade shows that there's pending completion for that. So this is something that you can put on a chart or a PowerPoint or even like an infographic on a web page. So let's see how we can create something like this. Delete this and what we need to do is we have our percentage here. Let's say that I created a small table. I put 0.25 and this basically gets formatted because we have our number formatting here and we select percentage here or you can just select the percentage icon here to give it that and we have a, another cell here which is 1 minus B2 so 100% minus 25% which gives us our 75% and that helps us create the lighter shade of the green or any other color that you think about for the donut chart. So let's create the donut chart. Go to insert and under the charts we're going to select donut chart. Whoops, all right. So let's make the dimensions of this into a perfect square not this rectangle. Go into format and let's do let's do three by three. All right. And now what we need to do is put some series of data in there. The first series of data we're going to put in there is kind of like a dummy series. So go under design, select data, I'll add a series of data. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a series of data that segments this donut chart. Right now it's 100%. Well, it's got this one here. And let's give it 10 segments. So that's, we're going to just add a series of ones. So that's one series, two comma three comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma eight comma nine comma 10. So that's going to be 10, 10 series of data. Click OK, and now you notice we have 10 segments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can do more if we wanted to make this a, give it more segments, like maybe 20 or 30, but I'll just choose 10 for now. Get rid of the legend, select that, press delete. And what we want to do is make all these the same color. So I'll select this and right click Format Data Series. And let's make this color, I don't know, we'll, we'll make it a nice blue. So we will have a solid fill and let's make it a blue here, this blue, right? Now what we want to do is we want to incorporate these series into the chart. Go back to select data and we're going to add series. We'll select project two name piece. It just gives us an easier way to see what series it's named. And for the series value, let's delete this. And what we want to do is select these two values, B and C, B2 to C2. Click OK and click OK. And what we do, what we have is these concentric circles. What we want to do is overlap these two donut charts. And the way to do that is to put the other one on a secondary axis. So what I'll do is I'll select the second data series that I created, right click and select change charts type. And it brings up the change chart type window where I can change the secondary axis, right? So project two, I want that to be on another axis. And what it's going to do is it's going to overlap the primary axis. Click OK. And now I have it overlapping. So when you think about it, it's kind of like a layer. This is overlapping the other donut chart that I created, the one with the series of ones. And this part, the blue part, this is that 25%, right? We want to have the other color kind of show up. So what we're going to do is make this transparent. So I select that. This is the only thing selected. Go under the paint bucket. So for the paint bucket, we're going to select no fill. But I think I, let me see if I selected just this one. You can see that if I click it again, ah, this one is selected, right? You don't want to select everything. Just have this one selected. Go to no fill. Whoops, no fill. And now you can see that the first layer, the ones with the series of ones, showed up because there's no fill. I want to select the second item here. Let's select this ring and we want to give that a fill. 
we want to give that a fill. Oops, Control Z to undo that. Let's select this again. Oops, let's select outside and select this. All right, so hopefully this is selected. And we want to give this a solid fill of white. But we want to give it some transparency. You can use the slider here or use the option here to change it. I think 30% is probably good enough and you can see that as we increase the percentage, let's make this 40%, the transparency is a little less so the color is going to show through. Maybe we can make this up to 50. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's probably a little too much. Let's stick with 30. So now we have our donut chart. So the rest of it is just adding labels to it. Let's make a label here. We'll, let's insert a text label. Let's go to text box. And we want to say this particular item is 25%. Go up to the formula bar, say equal 25%, press enter. You can see that's a little bit small. Let's change the formatting on that. We're going to format this shape. This is still selected, and our navigation pane shows format shape. Let's go to our text options. Let's see what we can do. Go to the text box. Let's resize the shape to fit the text. So make sure that this shape outline shows that. And we want to increase the font size. Let's make this a little bit bigger, probably 40. Whoops, that didn't work because I didn't select the font, the, the text here. Let's control A to select all that and go to drop down 40. It's a little big. Let's move, we'll move this a little bit more and center it. We'll center this. All right, move this over here so it looks a little bit better and click outside. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. Now we want to change the chart title to maybe say project two. We're going to select that chart, chart title object, go under the formula bar, press equal and select that. So it's referencing that there, press enter. And now we have project two. So this becomes a good template for you to use. Let's say we don't want to call that project two. Let's call this apples, right? A P P L S and that changes the apples. This percentage, maybe it needs to increase to 67% press enter and now that changes 67% and you also notice that this blue changes and moves up to 67%. So we can use this type of donut chart in infographics. It looks kind of nice. If you don't like this color, we can select that. Select it again and change the color if we don't like that blue. We will, oops, looks like it didn't pick up that thing. Let's select that again. Let's see if selected that. Now let me go under select series option. We're going to want to change the color of series one. That was the one where we had a bunch of ones there. Select that. Yes, that's right. And the color, maybe we want orange, right? So we selected the orange. It gives us this orange color. So this is the way that we can create a donut chart and show percentage complete and make it kind of look nice so we can put into slides or put on the web page or use it for some kind of infographic. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.